um, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. They probably won't see it. Seriously, okay. these things get two views. All right. Well, so I was putting on that hypnosis shit. It's putting on that hypnosis shit, and that one's for like supposed to be like lucid dreaming. I saw the lucid dreams. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same one I put on because that specific one has really made me go to sleep really fast or whatever. But um, I, it was so creepy, dude. So it was like. It was playing, right? And I just went to sleep really fast. And then just like my immediately, like I started, you know, it felt immediate, but I think it was like not that immediate. But I, I had this dream where it was like creepy as fuck because it wasn't a dream. It was like almost like I, it was one of those dreams where you wake up in the van, you know, like you wake up like in the actual bed that you're in. I don't have those very often. It was so creepy because I kind of woke up and like on this side of the van, like but it was actually like as if I was faced this way so it was like I know it was a dream it wasn't like right but it was like I was faced this way and this person just went oh <laughs> fucking shit <laughs> it was so scary babe I'm sorry to me. that was fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ really I'm sorry these people are so scared right now like <laughs> babe that's not playing it's not. Stop it! Who is fucked up? And what's really <laughs> no. What's really fucked up is that when it happened, babe, it was some kid. Oh God, please! What was really weird is it was like I had a feeling that that was a real person somewhere, babe. Listen to me. It was fucking weird. I felt like this kid actually existed, like, but I didn't know this kid, and I probably just saw him on the street or whatever. But. Stop like, it! There was something about it, like, this kid had, like, a cap, like, I don't know, like, a backwards hat or something. He had kind of, like, a longer face, but not hella long. Oh, God, babe, Kind of one of those asshole kids. <gasps> like, those skater kids. He kind of looked like a skater kid. Babe, that scared the but shit But he, out. like, put his arms against the window and was like this, and, like... <laughs> but it was some kid, so it was really weird. And so when I woke up hella quick, like, from that... <laughs> And the shit's still going, and like I'm hearing this dude's voice, and I'm just like, "What the fuck was that?" And babe's all sleeping, like, mm -hmm. and I'm oh, like, "Fuck, babe, <laughs> fuck that." You hella felt me on that. It was fucked up, dude. And then I just had to tell myself it's no big deal, <laughs> like fucking go back to sleep. That was, you know, I've never reacted like that. I know that was weird. That was fuck that, babe, fuck that shit. Dude, so then it was really weird because then when I woke up, I had had the, it was like, I don't know if like, have you, like, have you ever had that where it's like a dream that like you actually in the same night, it's the same setup and you keep trying it like it's a fucking video game and you keep trying different shit. Nah, I, I've never gone into the, the lucid dreaming like thing. I don't know if it is I don't or think not. I'm like, capable, my brain is not capable, like I'm part of the fucking program practically i, I doubt it that's no it's just... not that it's it's not that i am it's just that like that's the only way i've been able to survive is focus on one thing it seems like me lucid dreaming like i don't know it's it seems like a waste of energy to no be like i have i have been lucid in dreams and i've talked to some of the characters i'm like hey you know this is a dream yeah. And they'll be like, "All oh, right." It's always the most boring fucking answers. I'm like, "Oh yeah." You know what? You know right now, like I'm dreaming like this. This shit ain't real. And he's like, "Oh yeah." That's it. Like, "Oh yeah." What kind of scenarios? Like, I remember, like I've only done it once or twice, and a couple times. But then I also have a different category of dreams where it was like super fucking clear as if it were real. Um. And, like, in the same period of time, it's not like just back then during this age, uh, they were all clear. It was just actually, I knew, I'm like, wow, that dream was, like, super clear. Like, Did you know you were dreaming fidelity, in a clear? Fidelity, resolution. See, but that was different. It's a different category. I wasn't lucid in those dreams. I actually really believed it was fucking, uh, that That's was happening. fucked up. But the difference was, was, like, the, maybe... Maybe that's an illusion. Maybe it's just me being able to remember it more. But the, the, whenever I'd wake up, I'm like, that shit was so real. Yeah, I haven't had many of the those. difference. Like I literally dreamt a lot back then, you know. And like when I would wake up, I'd be like, I'd think various shit, you know. 
but then there's a certain set I'm like why did that look so it looked so clear that it was like and it was the least believable shit but made so believable because it was like it was as it was as clear yeah. as this like so vivid and everything but anyways yeah so the lucid dream I had like one the one I remember I might have had like another it was like yeah <laughs> And I've never tried, like, I was never that interested, I think, just because of how, like, I was really interested in what I could do here. Yeah, which has always made you wiser than... No, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, just me, yeah, me, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But, no, um, no, I was just, I was uh, in a desert area, and there was a city in the distance, and what was interesting was it was just a desert for so long, but then somewhere close off of the horizon... There's a city similar to the distance we have from Alameda to SF, right? Mm -hmm. When you look across. Yeah. About that distance, except for it's just desert. That was probably somewhere approximately 10 years old, maybe somewhere around there. Maybe younger, you know, I'm not really sure. I can't really remember, but I was talking to this one kid. Um, just me and this one kid who I had just kind of met earlier in the dream. Um, weren't that close or anything. We're just kind of, you know, just stranger talk. Like, we just talk about sh random shit. Um, and there was pretty much... I knew this shit was fake, and it wasn't because of this, but Reptar from fucking Rugrats was, a, was the dinosaur destroying the city. But the city was realistic as fuck, but the, the dinosaur resembled, like, a 3D version of Reptar. Mm -hmm. Like, fake-ass-looking dinosaur-ish shit. What's funny is like the desert, oh I didn't mention that, desert just cuts off and it's just city. Like so it's like the desert until the city. There That's was, cool. It was like, yeah, it's skyscrapers and shit. But yeah, yeah, I just remember telling him, we were watching this shit happen. And there's like no roads either. It was just desert and then city way in the distance and then a dinosaur destroying the shit. And there's no rubble in the desert either. Like, barely any plants. There were some plants, too. But it was a flat plain as if there should be a road, as if it was Death, Death Valley, just without any any angles. Yeah. It was just plains yeah. instead, but it was a desert. And I was like, this shit's fake, you know? He was like, huh. He was just wasn't that interested. He was like, huh, and just had nothing to say about that. Was he interested in what was going on? Well, we were staring at it, but he might have just had a lack of enthusiasm for everything, and that's kind of how I was raised anyway. So having a character, <laughs> having a character like that, it wasn't that off. I'm like, all right, fuck, I was oh hoping you had more to say about me realizing this whole shit was a dream, man. That's how it felt. Probably thinks I'm crazy. If that was a real person <laughs> and I said that, yeah. obviously. Yeah, so. he's like, what the fuck? He's like, huh. Uh, you're <laughs> oh, so I didn't dumb. realize that you were crazy. But... So, okay, no, but that's crazy. So you're saying that you, did you know it was a dream? Like this is a different category. You were dreaming, but you woke up in a, a, re a resemblance of where you actually are sleeping. Yeah, that one I did not know. It all happened so fast. It was like that. Yeah. I didn't think about it. It wasn't until when I woke up, I knew immediately like you know what I mean like I, I never That's thought weird. at one point and the first thing I think of like when shit like that resembles where you're oh, you know currently actually sleeping I always think like oh maybe you just put different goggles on you know dude okay now that's so creepy that you say that because I that's like when I woke up what I really felt honestly felt that, that there was an actual presence that was trying to like Right, and I felt that too. I've... I felt like it was a real person. Okay, this is the thing. The reason why that that really felt real was because it wasn't a ghosty goo. It wasn't like it wasn't like a creature beyond all reasoning. It was a fucking skater kid. Like he. But what's weird is that like he had a detailed face. I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm dreaming, like people don't have detailed faces. It's kind of like yeah. very, like. They have a nose and eyes, and I know that, but I'm never, like, looking at their faces that much. Yeah. Like, this dude, like, it was like somebody came up to me. Like, it was like that. Very bizarre. Very bizarre that he was wearing, like, clothes, like, that were very modern. And, like, I don't know, just didn't, like, it was just, like, it was weird. It really seemed like he was a real person, and he was trying to get my attention. That's happened a couple times with me. I forgot... To mention there's a few times there's one time 
when I started to fall asleep, and it was about the same amount of time, like I'd probably been asleep under five to ten minutes, and um, it was so fucking weird because keys, like at the time Dawson had a set of keys on his pants, so basically Dawson ran in when I was like just about to go to sleep. He ran in, he's like, and he ran in, he came in, um, and then I just got up, and I was like, what's up, man? And he wasn't in there, and I would end up investigating and realizing that, like, you know, he definitely never even came any time around that. What? But then it was like, all right, that's fine. That was just kind of like, you know, some, there's like some dissonance there, you know, maybe just me having a kind of dream mm -hmm. that almost resembled a little bit. But then there's other times when it was the same way where in that same room where I could sense that someone was start starting to walk in. Just like no no audible or visual cue. Anything matching or anything coinciding. Like there's no clank or anything that even gave me a reason. Yeah. There was no a... trigger. Yeah. For me to think, oh, this is all. This matches with another time in the past. Yeah, when there's no someone like would shape walk in. in the corner of your eye. It's just pure. N yeah, I know, but like, there's also like, I could even just have a fragment of a memory of like a coincidence happening two times in a row, where, where, some where dishes clank because Steph and Dawson are now downstairs, and this is the cue when he normally walks in, mm -hmm. and instead I I thought I heard a dish sound go off or a dish clank, but it was because something slipped in the dish dishes and then and then something about my brain would think or oh felt a presence, but it's just a ghost of a presence. Mm -hmm. Ghost in the sense of whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Ghost in the sense of like, you know, it's a matching to a to yeah. a, an equation. Mm -hmm. But th it was just nothing. It was just, you know, so I I was like I felt it coming near, like I felt somebody walking in without anybody, without any other sense, someone walking in. And that happened a lot with that room. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. That room, huh? With the non-door, that weird. No, that's different. The, that, that room, that room's different. But no, okay. this is the, what's currently like the room that I was first in. The currently Randy's room, little Randy's room. Oh yeah, okay, that room. So there is always an entry thing there, but that could be I don't know. It's like that's just what happened with me. But there was a few times when I swear that like, I would wake up and wake up to someone coming in. There was no one. So it, I think like what I was trying to say was, but I feel like that that thing that you said happened has happened to me a lot, where where I'll be woken up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I'll be woken up by something alarming me. Yeah. And I wake up, and the presence is still there. Many more times than what I was just talking about with wow. the room thing. Yeah. So that part has. I was trying to give you like different categories. I see what you're saying. But I've had no, and that doesn't just apply to that room. I've had plenty of times when I've had a bad dream, right? I wake up and the presence is still really fucked up, like for hell of long. Uh, like this is way past me waking up. Yeah. Like I'm awake, drink coffee. Presence is fucked up in that room. Oh God. Like this is just you know because I have my own like little. That's funny. I don't think I've had that before. Like even that, it was like I felt like you know the the presence from the dream. It wasn't like I couldn't. Granted, I've really tried to dumb that part of myself down because I cannot take it. Like, it's too much for me. Right, but and like, that, see, that's, that could be, a, I don't know. But, but yeah, I don't know. But, no, I'd like to believe that it was just that in accordance to... Like, where we parked also. So, where we parked on that street. Where were we? Yeah, on that... We were further down Buena. Yeah. And I don't, like, that makes so much sense to me. Maybe, you know, that it could have just easily been me being creeped out. Right. Oh, easily. From that street. I'm just saying I like, like the idea of it not being like, and, but then again, this is different because we're moving all the time. So like if there is, if you think anything is geographically haunted or it geographically yeah. has a presence or other dimensions, whatever, but somehow pertains to a certain specific 3D you know, geographic location. 
Oh my god. Then we don't have to worry about that. That fucking hat guy. What if, you know? What if, like, he wasn't even, like... Because you said you thought there were, like, more than one of them. Because it didn't make sense for them to, like, be walking that much. Like, <laughs> if it was just, like, a ghost thing. Like, and it was just, like, respawning. Like, <laughs> it's just, like... That, because I swear to you, the way that he lifted up, like, it did not seem fucking normal. It did not seem like a dude is, like... Like, it did There's not seem no, like that. It seemed to, like, no. fucking floating. That was a real-ass dude. Just because you couldn't see. He's a real-ass dude. No, he looked fucking real. <laughs> he like, definitely re looked real. He's a real-ass person. You never fucking know, dude. dude. There's some weird stories out there, dude. There's some bizarre shit that people have seen. Dude, I would have sooner believe that dude's a time traveler than a fucking ghost. <laughs> I don't even believe in ghosts. I'm just like, it's a funny idea. Like, that's what well, that makes. Maybe it's the same fucking thing. Time traveler and a fucking ghost. Like, shit. I mean, technically, dude, we should watch the time traveler. That movie was fucking dope. The book was like fucking amazing. Oh, my God, dude. The book was so good. Man, some of those old sci fi books are like, fucking God. But that is fucked up, though. Yeah, but I think for me, what was even weirder is, like, waking up after, after like, having, like... Clearly could have been some kind of projection of, like, Benji and something like that, right? No? He was, like, 19 He or was a specific-ass like. kid. Yes! That's why it was weird. It was a very specific, like, dude. I wonder. Like, I remember the kid was wearing a hoodie, but, like, he was wearing a hat. Like, you could tell that, like, he had the hoodie over the hat. Yeah, it was one of those, he had the bill, I thought it was backwards, but no, he had the bill up, it was like one of those where you can't even, like, it's not straight, it's like this. Had the hoodie, had like brown, brown do, eyes, like yeah, but brown do, hair. But how do I know, like, like, that you haven't seen that kid, like, before? No, and I even said I probably have seen him on the street or something, that's why, you know, dreams do that, like, when yeah. you think you don't know a person, you've actually seen them before, like, yeah. It was just weird because he was so detailed and I just never have, like, you don't understand because with my existence, I actually don't process faces that well. Like, I have that problem, that kind of autism where, like, if I see, like, your face over time, I've gotten to know your mm -hmm. face. But it took time for me to actually recognize all the things yeah, about your too. face. Yeah, me too. I suck at that. It's an indication of me being retarded. We're just two retarded people in a van. Yeah. But that's my point is that, like, for me, my dreams are always, everybody's faces, I'm like, it's like I know that they have a face. Like, I rarely see people's faces in dreams. It's like drawings more like because everybody's kind of blemished out. Everybody has, like, one skin tone. There's no wrinkles. Like, I usually don't even know what the eyes are colored. And it's enough examples, it's like, I think. Yeah. But anyways, I wanted to talk about that and also the fact that I kept having this. And I've had this a bunch of times. Like, this uh, dream sequence where it's like I start out the night or whatever. And the night starts out with this particular scenario. Like, the one last night was like me and this girl were supposed to be like, delivering something but it was like some kind of like i don't is this a reoccurring one or not yeah this is the one all that right, happened I'm a multitask times. all right all right so it's since when you're a kid or what no 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 i think it's weird because there's this specific place that like that exists in my dreams and it's like i've actually never seen this part of it before like and i'm pretty sure it's the same place because the marsh area in this dream reminded me of the same kind of structuring as as the ocean so there's this yeah dude it's fucking weird so when i was younger i used to have this dream and it's been so long i can't quite remember now but it was like something to do with like us trying to escape and us being like a group of people there was like four or five of us like i think there was five plus me so like six of us and we're on this beach and we're running and we're trying to get to the ocean and like it's fucked up because there's like there's like these like platforms but like they're all broken up and fucked up and they almost look like ice but they're not ice 
because it's fucking not cold at all. Like, it is cold, but it's not that Do cold. Do they have pillars holding them up, or are they just platforms on? I think they're floating platforms. On water? Yeah. Or no, they're... they're yeah, on water in the ocean. So we're on the beach, and we're running right, away because like, there's some they, dudes after those us. Like ice caps and shit, or not? Ice caps are referencing bigger things, like... Well, I think those are, yeah, the, like, you know, like, uh, yeah, they would be ice caps. But the thing is, is that the reason they weren't ice pack caps is because they weren't cold. Like, it wasn't that cold. Like, that's why it was weird. They looked like ice caps, but they weren't. They were like some oh, sort of plastic like some, or something. Is, oh, okay. Oh, I was going to go in the blob mist direction where they're alive and shit, but no. Oh, no. God, there was shit in the water, though. It was fucked up because... Every time, so in these dreams that I keep having, like, and there's multiple different, like, scenarios, but there's certain ones that are connected or whatever. It's fucked up. It's like a whole fucking, like, I don't know. But, and, uh, so in this particular dream that I used to have, we would get out to the ocean and, like, a couple dudes would die, like, on our way out to this, like, abandoned ship. It looks abandoned, but it's, like, it's our safe getaway. And I never, what's fucked up is that in these dreams, I'm kind of thrown into this body almost where like I don't know what's going on fully I just know what I'm supposed to be doing like so yeah so basically what happens every time is that a bunch of dudes die because there's not only the dudes that are chasing us they're kind of scared of the water the dudes that are chasing us because there's shit in the water there's like weird shit in the water that I never actually see because all I see is the dudes like screw like I don't, I don't see them I hear them screaming and then they're just gone so I'm like just running and there's always, there's always like one person that's always with me, but like, I don't usually know them like anyways, but we get to the ship and sometimes I die you know before what? the ship. You fucking cheater. So sometimes I die before the ship. Sometimes I get to the ship, but nothing ever. Oh, there was one time. So this is when the, this is what's weird about these dreams is once I actually finally finish them, I usually don't have them again. But they won't even necessarily be finished. It's weird. So, like, um, the, I finally finished this particular dream from the past with we get on the boat and we start going. And there's only a few of us left. And then we start seeing these cliffs, like, they're hella large and it's hella dark. And we're on the ocean and we escape from these dudes and we're on this boat and we're supposed to be going somewhere. But we're just going around. So, it's like we got off the beach, right? Yeah. And then there's a huge rock, like giant dude, like mountain, like, okay. you know what I mean? And then we're going around it. So basically we're just going to the other side of the beach, which doesn't make sense, but that's what we're doing. And there's like, there's like a, a pier thing and we're supposed to meet up with some dude there. And that's where it's always cut off. It's cut off at me looking at that area. Interesting. So what I think is, is that the dream I had last night was part of that just because the beat, there was a similar beach in this place. Like, but I wasn't, I wasn't near it. I just remember that I looked back. So when I started the dream, me and this girl were running. That was how I started the dream. We were running in this kind of place that kind of looked like the base. Oh my God. Holy shit. I just remember that I've dreamed of the same base before too. It's like it's all part of this world that I've created in my head. Like, that's fucked up. I don't that's know. That's intensely fucked up. All right, asshole. You don't give a no, fuck. it is fucked up. You don't. Uh, you want? Don't you want me to explain? Yes, though? I do. Because what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Why is it fucked up? It's fucked up because it's like all tied in with meanings that you've created and fucked up scenarios and things that you haven't gotten over in life and well that's no 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 this is just that interpretive part of my brain that's like thinking that everything in a dream is an analogy and shit and shit like psych psycho psychological trials and journeys and adventures and certain like psychiatric not psychiatric psychological like issues are represented by physical by physical totems and things in, in, in dreams, like in physical like representations. And I just think, thinking about a place that's that you've always dreamt, like I've always dreamt about some shit for years and then stopped and never, you know, never had to deal with that shit again. And always something new. It's always changed shape and in my mind, and it's not never the same thing. 
you know, it, it went Oh, and from, you're saying it's fucked up. I get why you're saying it. Yeah, up. like, for me, like, it used to be a ghoul that I was afraid of, but then I was done with the ghoul, and then it was, like, a certain social problem, and I can't even remember anymore, and then it was, like, you know, this fixation on, like, a girl, like, my fr the first girl I was dating, and problems with her, like, you know, and her not being upfront about stuff, so I'd always dream about her, and, like, after we were broken up, I dream about, like, just, like, a warmth around her, like, even though it's, like, it's, like, it was because I was missing her, but because, like, but we never talked in the dream because we never had that kind of talking intimacy, so she's just there. You know, that kind of shit, and then I stopped dreaming about any shit like that, and, now, and then I would dream about this, and then that. For you, there's a place that's always existed. Yeah. Your whole fucking life. Do you understand? Like, there's something about your dreams, like, something like from and I'm not necessarily right I'm just saying the way that I think about shit and way I've thought about dreams or way I've at least come to maybe I haven't thought about them this way forever right we also came from somebody or a set of people so I'm not saying I'm right in the way I think but in the way I think that's fucked up yeah for a place for this place that doesn't necessarily seem like a great place seems kind of like like very vast yeah and and mysterious and kind of dark and cold. It is. It's always so kind of like, dark this place there. Has existed your whole life. Yeah. Like certain parts of the place are really beautiful. Like there'll be light, but there's a lot of dark areas in the place. Yeah, I know, and it's just really too easy for me to to find some kind of analogous connection. I didn't think about that before. You know? Yeah, because the more I really, because I've never actually like sat down and talked it out before. So the more I'm talking, I'm like. Oh my God, wait, I have been to that base. And like that base, it's not the first time I've seen that. And like different dreams, like. It's fucked up. Yeah. You Ugh. thought I was just saying some shit. Oh yeah, I thought you were just, you know. Trying to pretend like I was listening and shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't right. You fucking right. Man, so anyways, that shit. So we were running. We we're running across this base and there's this abandoned, there's a bunch, it's a bunch of abandoned, uh, like warehouse kind of places, but there's like, I don't know what the deal is with this whole story, but like, all I know is there's kind of these mob like people that we're avoiding and they're not necessarily connected to what we're a part of as just, we don't want them to see us. So we're dodging and shit. can't remember we get past we get past some shit and then at a certain point I think we like found a school and like we had to run across like a PE like situation and like run through these lockers which I've dreamt about before now that I think about that too those same locker rooms in a different scenario there was a monster in those locker rooms that's Dude, fucking... that's how people make novels and shit. I know, I'm fucked up. Like, I can't remember them all, like, detailed enough. I would have to fill in the blanks because there's a lot of shit that I don't remember. Like, why, you know? I would just make up shit from this. Wait, so what was... Oh, yeah, so the end sequence with this dream... There's always the ending part where, like, there's a, there's a bunch of prequel kind of shit. Like, us running through the fucking warehouse area, and then us running through this, like, P.E., like, area. And then the lockers. And then, oh, yeah, and then I lost the girl. I don't know what happened to the girl. She just disappeared. Like, you know, can't remember what happened because it was, like, all I can remember is one... I remember, I remember leaving the gym area... I just remember kind of scrambling on like rocks or something. And then there was a, uh, then there was like, yeah, that creepy fucking place with the swamp, dude. That shit was not right. Oh, you ain't right. Yeah. Cause there was this swampland area and it was kind of pretty. It kind of had like a, a bunch of, a bunch of trees with like those white flowers on them. So it was like pretty, but it, then it was kind of like every, all the ground was fucked up. Like not fucked up literally, but like it was all like mossy 
and like when I would step in it, it would sink a little bit and I didn't know where the water began. You know that's not right. So yeah, so I had to like kind of like, it's always crossing water actually. Now that I think about it, it's a lot of crossing water in my dreams. You're not right. I should look up what that means. You're not right. But anyways, I cross the water, I get to the other side, there's shit chasing me still forever. There's always shit chasing me. And uh, yeah, and then I get, I get to the other side and there's this giant pyramid looking thing, but it's like, it's like modernized pyramid. It's like made of granite and it's not quite a pyramid. It's more square like, but like it's made of like these bricks that kind of the top looks like a pyramid. And I know that this is where I'm supposed to go, I think. There was something I was supposed to get there, or maybe I was just passing through, I can't remember now. But, um, so I get in there, and this is the part where I keep dying, and have I ha it's like a video game where I have to start at the last place I saved or something, because I keep starting at the swamp area every time. And that was most of my, my dream was that, was restarting there over and over again. It was weird. It was like, I was, so the first time it was like I got in the building and it was super dark and like it, there was like a bunch of like nasty shit on the ground and like I think I just died immediately like something killed me like I can't even remember I just remember that I I remembered the next time I went in I'm like okay there's gonna be somebody there <laughs> that's what's fucked up about my dreams is like it's not like. I don't even necessarily like have the death experience. Like it's just like I get stopped and then it goes back. So there's a bunch of different things and like I dodge a bunch of people and like keep having to go back because I didn't know somebody was going to be there, blah, blah, blah. And these people are like kind of mutant-y. Like they kind of reminded me of those pig dudes and um, Duke Nukem. Yeah, and Duke Nukem, but like with no clothes. <laughs> But they weren't exactly pig people. They just kind of reminded me of pig people. But they were gross. They were like covered in like shit and slime and stuff. Like actual shit though. Like in vomit. Like they were disgusting. They smell like and then, yeah. So eventually at a certain point, I got lucky. And I actually saw, I had gotten past the point that I knew what was going to happen. And then I didn't know what was going to happen anymore. But I got lucky. And like there was these group of dudes and they came all together and they were talking. And when I went, I like was running past them and I actually spit I, or I threw up on them or something really weird. Like it was like I did some sort of really gross shit and like propelled it at them. And then, and then I got out and then that was the end of the dreams. <laughs> Fucking weird, dude. That's not right. Yeah. I should look up though what, uh. What that shit means. What does it mean when you're always crossing a body of water? So I'm always crossing water now that I think about it. There's always some fucking boat or some fucking like, like, uh, like, what some is it? fucking bitch I was trying to take your money. Mm hmm <laughs> Just like throw that in. Crossing water in drain. Mm-hmm. It says crossing a river. Islamic dream interpretation for crossing a river. Crossing a river stream suggests relief from grief, sorrow, and fear. But if such a river or stream contain mud, filth, or continues to swell, it suggests the observer of the dram will break off his relationship with his neighbor, son, or an intimate friend and establish new relationships with someone else. In spite of this, he will keep contact with... relationship, babe. You gotta change your shit. <laughs> change it up. It's, that's crossing... Just because it says somewhere actually means that you need to change your relationship with me and exchange it for someone. I know, right? No, it wasn't... It wasn't a no, river, seriously. though. It seriously, was... let's do this. It was a swamp and an ocean. Else. Shut up, babe. There we go. Crossing the ocean. There's someone I have in mind. Shut up. Okay. Do, do, 
Okay, crossing water. If you're crossing the ocean water with ease, that means you show great ability to experience freedom and independence. What? I don't know if that's what it is. Now, these bitches don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, turn off the camera. Guys, I'm going to break up with Jamie. Because it said that. You filmed the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, 